Hi guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these really simple wardrobes. Um, not too complicated at all, anyone can do it. Now the reason for this type of build is because they're going to be mirroring ones that are in another bedroom. I'll put a little picture up here of them for you. Um, not my normal style of ad building, but it's just no other way of doing it. You can't bring complete carcasses up, but we're three floors up on really narrow staircases. So building it in the room is the only way. And um, because they're floor to ceiling, you can't really like build them on the floor like a normal carcass and stand them up. So we've gone with this, but like I said, it's a really simple way of building. So um, I hope you enjoy it. Cheers. <laughs> So we, like with every job, it starts off with me uh, cutting out the materials and that. Now, I've been through this stage loads and loads of my videos, so I didn't think I'd muck about too much, and I'd just uh, skip through this a little bit quickly for you guys. Didn't want you to just sit there watching me uh, cutting up loads of material over and over again. But um, yeah, like I said, this process is pretty much the same on every build. So we're going to skip through this, skip through it pretty quickly, and jump straight into the build. There we have it. So I'm going to start off by putting these two strips down the wall. You'll see there's going to be one down the back as well. Uh, I'm not quite sure what was going on with my camera. It's normally really good at focusing, but there was a few issues with this, so I apologise now. But um, yeah, it, um, we're going to start off with putting these strips down the wall. Primarily what they're for is just to get over that skirt involved there, just to pack it off. So it's going to act like a little filler strip, um, just to pack the wardrobe off. One at the front, one at the back, so it's even. Now, when you do this, you do want to check that your walls are actually square into this corner, because if they're not, then you're going to want to uh, change these accordingly, just to get over that. Do uh, three fixings in these top and bottom, and then I, I screw through again with the side panel, which you'll see in a minute coming up next but yeah free free fixings just to hold these in place when that's more than enough <laughs> yeah, again I, I was being quite lazy on this job because it was three floors up I didn't want to keep on going up and down the stairs so yeah I'm sharing a battery between my drills right now which isn't ideal but you know what are you gonna do okay so yeah we're on with the first panel now uh, cut to length you can see that I actually already did this marking out, but I didn't show it on camera, so I thought it was quite important. But essentially, it's just taking this little notch out down the bottom, just to um, get it over that back bit of skirting, so this panel can go right the way back. And then uh, you'll see me use this glue throughout. Really like it. It's uh, out of tool station. I think it's. It was £17 for 12 tubes, I believe. I think it's about £21 for 12 tubes now, but it's really good. Instant Stick by Evo Stick, or Instant Nails, sorry, by Evo Stick. Really good stuff. Um, and for that price, you can't grumble, can you? But um, yeah, I'm going to use that throughout. I find it really good for this sort of thing. So this support here is essentially what's going to hold the uh, top shelf on and then the two bits that you'll see me do later on are what's actually going to hold the, uh, the hanging rail in place. So like I said this is a really easy way of building wardrobes, not the fanciest way in the world um, but a really really easy way of constructing them. I think by this point I'd actually given up and gone and got myself another battery. I just thought this would get ridiculous. I can't be this lazy. It's actually more effort not to go and get the batteries. Okay, so this is that side brace that I was talking about that's actually going to hold the hanging rail. Um, you'll see later on that I'm going to drill a hole in there. Yeah, again, this is all just screwed and glued together. Now, 
Now, you'll see me cut this uh, bit of coving out. It hasn't actually got to be that neat because we're going to be uh, joining coving into it. We actually wrapped the coving around the um, wardrobe just to give it more of that fitted furniture look. Um, but yeah, we did, we did a reasonably neat job on this, but um doesn't have to be terribly neat. Like I say, it's all going to be covered up anyway, but... second panel in um, I actually already did that that cut out that I did on the other panel I've already done that I've done that off camera yeah again more focusing issues I don't know what's going on with it this camera is normally really really good for focusing so I don't quite know what's going on with that so I'm sorry but I'll get on top of it it'll be better by the next video I promise you So this little rail is just essentially to give the um, door saint to stop on at the bottom. Don't really need it, but it's just better to have it in there. Then the same at the top here. It's literally something for the doors to stop against. glued and screwed again so you can see it's starting to shape now it'll take shape now we're not a million miles away from a fully finished wardrobe at this stage obviously decorating sanding filling but um, that all comes later so here we go, that, this is me drilling out that hole that I was telling you about um, that's just going to receive the, uh, the hanging rail. So my hanging rail was 25mm so I drilled this, this hole out at 28mm just to give it a little bit more, you know, make it a little bit easier to put together. Um, going on with the other side now, screwed and glued on and you can see the hanging rail go in. This shelf that I'm about to put in now is the one that really pulls the whole thing together and gives it its strength. There is another one going lower down later on, but ultimately this is the one that's really going to give the whole structure its strength. Um, nice tight fit. You don't want this loose. You want to get this bang on. But yet again, screw them glued down. actually see on my mastic gun <laughs> that bead of uh, glue that's about to drip off and hit the floor I'm gonna point out to you when it actually fell it hit the floor but you can see it's getting longer and longer as as I'm um, as I'm up here and there you go it just fell off see if you can notice that let me know in the comments below if you actually noticed that drop off or not yeah again being really really lazy using a six foot level for this is um, not not the best but it's just a case of, I just really, I don't know what it was on this job, I just really didn't want to be bringing up more tools than I had to. And I think I just made life harder than myself, I should have just gone down and got it. Or just used one of my laser levels, as I've got quite a collection of them now. So uh, first time using one of these little uh, hinge jigs here, this is only a cheap one, I found it off of eBay, um, didn't want to pay some more of them premium prices in case uh, I didn't like it. Um, as it goes, as, as using the tool, I found the tool really really handy to use, 
Although this cheap one, I really wasn't impressed with it. I didn't expect I was going to be. I think it was about seven quid. So I didn't expect to be over the moon impressed with it. But like I said, I, I can see me using one of these. I wouldn't mind getting a uh, slightly more premium one because it really does save time. But what I found with this is like the offset for them um, for them hinges is normally 22 and a half mil. Now I, I messed around with all the settings on it and I couldn't get it to go to more than 22, 20 mil sorry, off the edge. So um, yeah, I'm not too sure what that's all about. But like I said, I, I, as the tool goes, I found it really good. Um, obviously the quality ain't great on it, but what can you expect for seven quid? But yeah, um, if you if you've got uh, any experience with a better one, I mean I don't want to spend fortunes obviously, but wouldn't mind a slightly better one because I really do think that it made life a lot easier. Um, we're only going with three hinges on these. I know I'm probably going to get a few people in the comments telling me that I should have used more, but really th these doors they weigh nothing. Um, they're only, what were they, they were 370mm wide I think, 376mm wide, so yeah they really don't weigh anything at all, so I'm, I'm more than happy with three hinges on these, I think they, that's going to be more than enough, um, yeah. There we go, I'm putting the doors on. So we're really at the finishing stretch now. You can see I use a 5mm uh, packer there. I find that a nice offset just for um, for when the door's in its closed position. I find it it goes up not tight tight. It has about a mil gap down in when it's in its closed position. <laughs> that screw didn't want to play well. And then we're on with the coving now. I'd spot the mistake here. That's it. That's the point of realization there. Got myself in a mess. Put it on the wrong way around. <laughs> now coving can be right finicky, but um, I'm not too bad with it. But yeah, and just using the nail gun. Now I find this gives it a really nice temporary hold. It's just enough to hold it in place um, while the glue goes off. Yeah, yeah, it's not like putting a screw in it doesn't need loads of fixings and again I didn't want to screw into the carcasses because it just made more and more filling. And there we go, final piece going in place. show you on this video is the amount of uh, sanding and filling I had to do to uh, cover it all up and make it look good at the end of the video but yeah we're on with the handles now now these are only cheap little knobs um, the customer is going to be replacing these but she couldn't find any she was happy with so we just decided on some of these little pine knobs for now until she finds something that she's happy with Initially she said to me just put two screws in just so she can open the doors, but they're so cheap these I just thought I'd put these on and then they can be replaced at a later date And there we have it guys and girls that's another job completed another satisfied customer Like I said not my usual style of building I prefer to build a proper carcass up with a back and all that in it But you know for the problems that we had one with um like the access trying to get up them three floors I, I forgot to take a picture actually for you but when them narrow staircases trying to get the wardrobes up would be impossible and uh also like even trying to build it in the room because they're floor to ceilings trying to stand it up in there 
it just wouldn't have worked so we went with that but i think they worked out well i think they come out really well in the end the customers over the moon with them which is the main thing um the channel is so close to a thousand subscribers now i think at the moment of recording this we're at 988 i think or something like that so we're really really close so if you can subscribe if if you liked this it really helped me out massively i'm going to be doing a giveaway at a thousand subscribers so that, like I said, that's really going to benefit you guys as well. Um, just a little thank you for all of you coming along and being part of it. But yeah, without further ado, I'm going to leave it there. I want to thank you guys for watching this one. If you want to see any more of this sort of stuff, hit that subscribe button, ding that bell. You'll be up to date with all of my videos. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.